Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today we're going to be looking at fixing a couple of sort of minor issues on this vintage G1 Transformers Jetfire. Now I was recently sent a large donation of Transformers by Michael Schaefer and this was one of the figures that was in that box. And initially when you look at it, it looks in very nice condition. And really it is, it's got a few sort of minor cosmetic things, but most of it is sort of perfectly displayable. It even came with all of its accessories. So uh, that's a nice sort of thing to find. But there are a couple of issues that mean that it's not quite displayable yet that I want to fix. So this is not really a full restoration, it's just going to fix some issues so that it is perfectly displayable. The main one being this very floppy left arm. You can see it doesn't hold in place at all. The right arm you can pose and it stays where it should do but this left one is very loose and initially I was thinking oh it just needs sort of a screw tightening up but on closer inspection it turns out it's actually been put together wrong. Now I think this may be a factory issue uh, more than a, a, some child taking it apart because all of the stickers on these figures uh, stick over the screw hole so you, you can't actually get this arm off without taking the stickers off and uh, it doesn't look like those stickers have ever been removed. The one at the top sort of peeling away but the one at the bottom that covers the has never been removed. So you can see here, this is the correct way around the arm should be. There is an elbow joint at the bottom that sort of rotates like that. And you can also then twist the arm just above the elbow. But if we look at this one, you can see that that elbow joint is actually upside down. The twisting part is up near the shoulder here. Uh, and I think that is what's um, sort of making this arm really floppy, that this whole thing has just been put together wrong. So I'm gonna have to take this whole arm off uh, we'll take it apart and uh, put it back together the correct way around and see what happens. You can also see the shoulder joint is a bit loose, like it's starting to unscrew. So we'll fix that. So that's the first issue. And the other issue you can only see when uh, we put Jetfire in plane mode because it looks like these tabs here, you can see the ones that stick out, are actually bent slightly. So but when you put them in plane mode, the wings are lifted up at the back and it looks really odd. So I think we can hopefully fix that just by using some hot water on this plastic and slightly sort of bending it back to shape. But the first thing I want to do, let's take this arm off and uh, put it back together correctly and see if it can be fixed. Jetfire is one of those sort of more complicated to deal with transformers because he is based off the Macross figure. So there's so many moving parts and bits that are sort of liable to break on him. Uh, but uh, with a little bit of sort of practice and effort, you can do it. Uh, let's uh, just get this rotated so he's sort of half transformed. I can't actually remember how to do this. It's been a long time. I think you have to push his head in or, oh, that's right, push that back. There you go, now we can get, get into sort of the main part of him. So his arm is held on by a screw there. If we undo that screw, this panel should fall away. And then we should be able to take the whole arm off and work with it separately. So I have a screwdriver here, a small cross point screwdriver. Let's undo this screw. We'll see what happens. As I say, it has been a very long time since I've worked on one of these figures. There we go. So that's that taken apart. You can see it's a bit dirty because it's still a bit damp where I've cleaned it. But there you go, that is the arm off. Now we can sort of deal with this. I think first thing, let's try and remove that sticker or parts of that sticker so we can take the arm to pieces. Now I don't want to just stick holes straight into this sticker. I think we should be able to sort of remove bits of it enough to get to the two screws. There is a screw here and a screw there. And for that, I'm gonna use lighter fluid. Just put lighter fluid around the edge of it and it will loosen the uh, glue that holds this sticker on. If we just let that soak for a minute, I can then get a knife under it and hopefully peel those back just to remove those two screws. I've just got my box cutter knife here. A bit more lighter fluid on. There you go. So it just loosens the glue enough that we can get under those edges. Should do now. We can take the screws out and uh, start putting this arm back together properly. Like so, so let's take that bit out. And I think this is the first problem that that screw has come loose. So we'll screw that one in as well. So if we screw that in. Oh yes, that's right. Now with that screw tightened up, the spring needs to just be sort of pushed over that little lip. Easiest to do with a screwdriver. Okay, so that's the top part of the shoulder sorted. 
Now we can see what's going on with this. I think the whole thing is just round the wrong way. That should definitely be at the bottom. So uh, again, let's take these screws off. It looks like there is also a spring and a screw missing. So it's hard to say if this has been taken apart by a child or just a factory error. But uh, no matter what, what we do should help this. So take this arm apart. So that needs to go around this way. And I think there is a, definitely chunks missing here, but there should be a little latch, uh, sort of like this bit here that sort of enables that to rotate round. That is missing. So I'm gonna say a child must have taken this apart. That would be very unusual for a toy company to uh, miss such a major part. I think it will still work without that though. So we can put those bits back together. And we'll just see how it goes. It might have enough sort of force there to hold it. If not, I'll have to come back to this in a future sort of video when I've found some uh, small springs and see if we can repair that. Let's put that shoulder piece back together. Stick those stickers down. They'll still have enough stick on them. You know, actually, that is pretty firm, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now we can put his lower arm back on. We'll see which way around that that seems to fit strongest, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Oh no, that's not the way around. You can see actually there, this uh, sort of raised area where the screw goes in needs to go on the other side. So take that off, we'll twist that round. There we go, that's the correct way around. Sometimes when putting toys back together, you just have to sort of take your time and test fit things and see what happens. All right, so that feels better. Let's put the screw in and see if that tightens it up. Well, it's better, but it's still a bit floppy. Let me check the other arm, see what that one is doing. Just to sort of make sure what's going on, I've actually taken his right arm apart now, and you can see there's a little metal grommet that goes around the uh, main sort of elbow post there. So that is what's missing on the left. I don't think I've got anything quite that similar. So maybe just a bit of PTFE tape will uh, help uh, tighten the uh, left arm up. It's always worth checking what's going on just to see uh, if there is something missing, and there clearly is in this instance. Okay, so here's Jetfire with his arm reattached, and you can see now actually pose that and it stays in place. I did put a little bit of PTFE tape just on that joint just to tighten it up a bit, and that's working much better. Still really not sort of uh, sure why that uh, arm was put together wrong. It could have been a child doing it, but equally it could have been a factory error. It just seems a little bit odd that it was like that. And you can see now that they are together, he's working really nicely. So let's move on to the next issue and I'll have to transform him into his plane mode. Okay, so here is Jetfire in plane mode. And I think the issue may be uh, something I decide to leave just looking at it now. It's not so pronounced, but it is a little bit there. Um, it probably one of those things that if I try to fix it, it might end up getting were so sometimes with a fix it's best just to leave it if it's not too bad but you can see what's happening is the back of this plate is slightly bowed up because the clips that go under this front part of uh, Jetfire seem to be a little bit bent and are sort of forcing the back of this ship up but the problem with this sort of plastic is it's very hard to bend and can snap if you sort of deal with it and sort of twist it too much. Now my normal trick would be to put that into sort of some freshly boiled water and that will soften it a bit but as I say, this type of plastic doesn't particularly work well with that sort of method. So it's one of those sort of pros and cons sort of things. Is that so bad that it's going to annoy me or sort of stops the figure working or can I live with it? And I think actually I can live with that. It's not too much of an issue. So uh, I was sort of thinking about fixing it, but in this instance, I'm not going to bother. I don't think it's worth the effort. I think um, you risk sort of breaking the figure. So I'm going to leave that as is. So uh, let's put all the armour and bits on this and I'll show you the final thing. And here we have Jetfire all back together with all his armour in place. Now, this is by no means a perfect figure. There's lots of minor issues with it, but uh, you do have to sort of appreciate those as you collect toys. And that's the wabi-sabi of toy collecting. I don't think any toy needs to be particularly perfect. If the overall effect looks really quite impressive like this Jetfire does, then there's no point in sort of fixing all those little minor issues. That's just part of this toy's history. And so uh, this is how it's going to go on display here. He really looks very impressive. If I wanted to go the full sort of hog I'd have to repaint his legs because some of the paint is coming off on those get a few new sort of set of stickers because there's a few stickers missing but uh, for me that doesn't matter if you want to do that for yourself then there are plenty of places to go and get 
stickers and repainting things like this I've shown before in other videos but for me this sort of slightly battered jet fire looks fantastic and is going to go on display here so I do need to say again a massive thank you to Michael Schaefer for sending it over to me very kind donation if you've enjoyed this video then hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.